The last immortal character we had on the channel was Julius Nepos back in October, so if this guy becomes immortal, I don't mind too much. It, I know it's a meme on the channel, every character is immortal, but we actually haven't had an immortal character for a very long time now. So I'm going to give this one my, my best go. I'm going to see if we can actually do it. Um, it will require some luck. It's going to require, well, it's going to require a shit ton of luck, actually. It's like 95% chance you'll fail it. Um... So, this is going to be difficult, but if we succeed, if we get sick of playing the character, I'll just abdicate him, because we have the option to abdicate whenever the hell we want, um, or somewhere, wherever the hell the button is. Um, we have the option to abdicate whenever we want anyway. Uh, we, we will say that battle opinion hit, and obviously our next day will we'll suffer as a result, but, you know, if, if we get bored of the character, he can stick around as the immortal um, old god shadow binder that he is, and I think that'll be kind of fun, eh? Anyway, matters of life and death. You sit straight up in your bed, this is ridiculous, you are the ruler, you have nothing, people to serve your any whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your trouble sleeping. Summon the council. You summon a secret meeting. Invite only. Oh, shit. We're also at war with Lang, aren't we? Oh, no. We're at war with... This was uh, an embargo war. What happens if we lose? It just destroys our trade post for the Republic, doesn't it? Um, he gains nothing. He gains 200 piety. Uh, he gains 75 gold. Trade post in Ashai is destroyed. Oh, that's not good. I mean, we could just immediately build it up again. We haven't upgraded it or anything. It's bringing in 5.2 gold. I mean, realistically, for the money that we're spending on this war, the money that we're spending on upkeep, and the money we're spending on boats, we could just build the trade post again and start upgrading it and save a fortune. I mean, I don't like it, because it's basically like we're bending over backwards for YT, but also we're going to become immortal, so... It, it's just about money saving at this stage. And I'm, abs I'm absolutely going to do it. You know what? I'm going to surrender. I don't care. Fine. Take my... Okay, hang on. Wait, take my... Oh, okay, fine. Meeting of the Minds. Oh, God, it's called Aya. Why would you do this to me? A meeting of the Minds. Your council convenes on faces of your advisors speak confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and the suspense is almost tangible as you leave the question hanging in the air. Finally, you speak and without disclosing much of your nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of... How would he sound? How would, how would Top Box Boff sound? I want to discuss the concept of life and death, and I think I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly. So what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your chancellors start to talk. Some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They have ideas. I, 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 I want you to hit the books. Our mate, oh, this is kind of cool. Our Magi, he's a scholar, he's erudite, he's also the head of the Alchemist Guild. He's going to help us get the immortality event. That's, okay, that's, you got to admit, that's kind of a nice story. That's kind of cool. It would make sense. Let's do it. I, 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 I want you to hit the books. He smiles, but doesn't... Wait. Aya smiles, but doesn't push her cause. Sorry? Who's... I, I... Oh, my shadow binder. Right, okay. I, and this dude is just there. Um, his opinion... In, oh, took my advice. What do you mean? So this guy is helping us become immortal? Either way, like, it's the two of them. We've got a shadow binder and the head of the Alchemist Guild working on eternal life. That seems like a good idea to me. Oh no, my trade post was destroyed. I wonder what we'll do. Oh, that's right. We'll spend the 75 gold to build immediately a second one. Strang, my dear daughter is upset. Remind me of the promise to get her married. I have just the person in mind. This is actually a good idea. The head of the Alchemist Guild. The mage I have a shine. The guy that's helping me immortal. Boom. There you go. You can have my daughter for services rendered. And you can render my daughter a service. Uh, or not. Apparently not. Okay, never mind. Let's set the council then. Um, anybody who likes me wants to become my spy master. Uh, Jean Lee, welcome. Please keep me alive for fuck's sake. Um, who else have we got here? D I mean, we'll put this guy on the council. Wait, I put him on the council. He dislikes me. Why? Uh, fired from the council. Council job change. I just put you back on the council, you big fool. We're gonna have to wait basically for the for the rumors and the murder and everything else to to disappear before we're gonna be you know before people are gonna like us. Right. This is great news. Your Lord Treasurer comes to see you one afternoon. He explains he's devised a plan to bring in exotic goods. Let's organize an expedition. I didn't realize we were still on the business focus. I might move away from that. Um, but to be honest, it's bringing out... Oh, God. We're losing We're losing the Shadowlands again. I'm going to have to take that back before it gets out of hand. Buy a merchant ship, hire a crew of bandits, or on second thoughts, I can't really afford this. Um, well, I'm quite happy to do the crew of bandits again. This probably has like a 70% success rate, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, do we have a high enough stat to bring these boys along? Absolutely, we don't. It requires diplomacy, which we are not very good at right now, nor, nor do we have to Gregarious. So I'm not going to risk the priest getting in the way. It's not worth it for the gold when we're risking so much gold as well. We're now promoted to Wisdom, which is the second highest rank, obviously, below Grandmaster. Can you use a rare elixir? To my knowledge, the rare elixir, if you discover it, has a chance of giving you immortality as well. So even if we fail this event, there is still a, an opportunity in the future to 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 get it. Um, what does this give us? Can study the knowledge stores, can obtain rare powers. Interesting, okay. 
We're still looking to learn from a wisdom. The event has to fire naturally. We can't pursue this at all. So um, that will hopefully happen sooner rather than later so we can do some other missions for them. Threaten the vassal? Fuck it. You're forgiven. My vassals are completely out of hand. I want to take Stigai back. I want to take Stigai back. Where, where are your troops, Stigai? Um, those are the Stigai army. Are they really? They're just they're just waiting for it, eh? Um, claim Stigai. Why can't we take Stigai? It's our province. Do I not have a claim on it anymore? Weird. We could Dragon Conquest it, but that would make him our vassal. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. We could also Slave Raid them as well. What, what do we need for that? Um, oh, they need to be a different culture group. Right, and because they're Shadow Men, they are technically the same culture group. Just Dragon Conquest it and bring it back into the fold. Why not? I mean, I might as well spend the money on something, eh? Um, let's bring you boys, preferably not going through Stigai. Come down here. No, 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 no. Okay, you guys stop, because otherwise you're going to cause me a lot of problems. Okay, now, we are massively outnumbered here, but you've got to remember we've got the dragon, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, Strang asked for a fife. She wants the Manticore Isles. Um, that squint-eyed knave is not worthy of these lands. Wow! That squint-eyed knave! It, um, is this legal? Huh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, fuck it. Let's be massively racist. Why not? We're a tyrant. We overthrew the Republic. We're hated. Let's also be a massive racist. Um, speaking of, Prince Calvi, lead the depraved of Jin, wants a dozen strong horses. Oh, uh, shit. Who is this man? A Shai. What? Who are you? Uh, war? What's he at war for? Um, let's see what this war is over. Claim on Lang Ma. Oh, right. He's going for Lang. Fair enough. Oh, it's this dude. Okay, right. I don't know why you do that. I guess it's because he's worked out that we've, we've severely lacked the troops to win this war, so he's just going to risk it. Um, we are paying our regards to the blessings of the god, underscore T. Classic. I, I didn't realize we had enough to do that. And we became bitter rivals. It failed. All right. Um, at least I learned something. Aspiring trader plus one. That's not ideal, is it? Oh, my God. We've lost Sarahai as well. These fucking shadow men are driving me mad. They really are. We just can't seem to control them. Oh, God. This is bad. <laughs> um, this is this is not good at all, is it? Right, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, 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 let's, let's do it, let's do it this way. Bring those troops over, bring these troops together. Lost the trait, lost fall, that's fine by me. It doesn't matter too much, because that does have the risk of killing you in your older ages. Um, why did it not say that those guys were moving? They just suddenly appeared there. I'm a little bit annoyed by that. Maybe they got off of a boat and I didn't even notice? Oh god, here we go. A holy sigh. When you check up on Aya to inquire about the search, you find him slumped over his book, sound asleep. We've got the wrong man again. You clearly, you clear your throat loudly, and he sits up straight, drowsy eyes, and darting, panicling, <laughs> darting, panically, is that a real word? Around the room, before suppressing a yawn. Sorry, master, I must have dozed off. Truth be told, I'm starting to have given up. Nonsense, I'll hire some scribes. Shit, that's put me in debt. Is that going to affect the morale of our armies? Um, apparently not. Okay, here's the plan. Um, this is an extremely risky plan, but I don't particularly like fighting these two wars at once. We need to build up our power again. I thought we were ready for some offensive wars, but absolutely we're not. Right, let's put them in their place. Turn the speed right, 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 right down. And when are we going to get there? 28th of July. Watch this. Ready? This is going to be the, the stupidest thing I've ever done in CK2, but it might pay off if we get very lucky. Oh, careful. Careful. Tease it. We're there. Right, okay. Deploy the dragon. Please, for the love of God, kill them all. Oh my god, did that work? Oh god, it didn't work. Dragon? Dragon, I need you. Dragon. Dragon, take two. Shit, come on. Come on, come on, please, please, please. I just need the dragon once more. No, we're not going to get it, are we? We're going to lose this battle before the dragon's available again. Uh, get the train lunatic. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll take it. The immortal lunatic. I think that's what we need to actually unleash the old god, so I'll take it. Why not, eh? Um... Oh, fuck me. The goddamn dragon. I guess it's probably because we retreated from the battle as a commander. All right, then. Um, I've got to not rely on this dragon too much because it's kind of costing me a lot here. In commanders no longer affecting us. Yeah, no shit. How am I going to deal with this? Um, I feel like the offensive war should come later, seeing as we're not actively going to lose anything but gold if we surrender that one. Um, this one, though, will lose Lang. And Lang is, is, you know, for the old gods and all that. So I think we go and deal with the, the Lang rebellion first. Then we'll come back and grab Stigai afterwards. We can definitely win both. I just have to be not playing on speed 5 once in my goddamn life. So those boys are going to get there in a few minutes. Let's actually play on speed 3 though, because I don't want to be standing around waiting for people. Who are you? Um, Raza Raza wants to marry my daughter. Get her out. Yeah, honestly, if you, if you can take my family members away from us, that's fine by me. What about succession? Prince Limmer of Vashai. He's not terrible, but he's also not good either. Charismatic negotiator, trained fighter, poet, lustful family person. All right. 
He's not terrible. He could be, he could be a lot better. Oh, God. Boffin's Boff, though, is coming out pretty well. Fussy, diligent. He could he could be a great steward. Um, I want you to train some troops. Or train my children, specifically. Um, yeah, no, that's that's good. You perform charity to try and improve my name. We've got this boy improving speechcraft. He's not going to really do that ever because he hates me. Um, let's see if we can find someone who actually doesn't mind me too much and invite them to join the council. Join court. Uh, yes, sort by diplomacy. Welcome, Quamar. Um, you don't massively dislike me. I'll send you a gift, though, when you're at court. Uh, yeah, no, you can stay where you are for now. Let's wait for these other troops to come down, put them all on the boats, ship them off to Lang, save Lang, come back, stay, sh shave Stigai. Well, we can do that if we want. Um, right, okay, award honorary title, court, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't want to do that. Shit, minus 61. Well, it's better than the guy we've currently got, anyway. Like, significantly better than the guy that we've currently got. Oh, this guy approved this guy being on the council, so he's now upset with us. You can shut the hell up. Perform statecraft. Relations improved is obviously massive. Reputation repaired is what we really want, because that will get rid of the dishonorable trait. Um, which I don't know how long it is going to be before we lose that. Oh, shit, we're double dishonorable, aren't we? General opinion minus 20. Ugh, owie. It's a little more balanced in the base game, though, where when you've been... Obviously, when you murder someone once in the base game, you just get that temporary modifier, and that's it. Um, right, so... Welcome to the boats. Let's go save Lang. Let's go save the old gods. Then we'll turn back around. Re realistically, we should probably try and take the rest of Lang. Oh, fuck me. Shadow men. I will personally leave the attack against them. My daughter's strength buff. No, I don't care. Honestly, at this stage, I don't care. She's, she's fine. We've already told her that she's a, a, a squint-eyed weirdo or whatever the hell we called her. That's not that's not my words. That's the game's words, okay? Um, so she's probably not much of a threat anymore. We probably want to land up here rather than boat bombing it into a... Uh, into a larger army. I'm not buying any slaves, not today at least. We need to go slave raiding because that's really going to help our economy out massively, and I'd like to get that done this episode as well. Top box in the army. Top box smash. Okay, we'll wait for the we'll wait for the uh, morale to increase a little bit. Shit. Charge. Oh, there we go. That was lucky. Jesus. I was worried we were going to die then to uh, shadow men. Uh, no, we're not buying any slaves. We've only just got out of the black or out of the red, isn't it? If you're in uh, if you're in debt, black is, black is if you're not in debt. Gain 15 party. Thank you. I appreciate that. Trade post has been built in a shy. Good work, ET there. Great war. Really, really paid off. When are we going to get there? 23rd of November. Oh, oh God. Pause it. Oh, I think we're going to win anyway, but I'm still going to deploy the dragon. Dracarys. Shulpe tried to slay your dragon and failed as he was stricken down to the ground. Good. Well done, Shulpe. Um, <laughs> Shulpe? That's a great name. Um, let's... So I suppose we could just launch the counterattack on their capital now. Torture down. Bring the boats around to here, then. Get ready to pick up our men so that we can immediately go back and deal with Stigai. Stigai haven't gained any war score as well, which is great. How many fucking times... <laughs> Mirza Chandes tried to slay the dragon, but he failed. As he was thrown to the ground. Excellent, right? Thank you. Perfect. 85% war score. We'll just torch this goddamn place and then we should be good. Um, 85%. Oh, they, that was a trade post. That was a trade post. They have, they have 5,000 defenders. Oh, God. Dragon once again. What if you said that I don't need to deploy the dragon every single time because apparently there is a small chance of the dragon automatically being deployed in battles and sieges? But honestly, it's been wounded. Well, that's fine. This is all you need to do. But we just need to... That's fine. You, you've done more than enough there. We'll let this one siege down naturally. We don't need to worry about Stigai. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yes, we do. Oh, fuck. Um, the castle is impregnable. Marshall plus two. It's absolutely not impregnable. That's, that's not the case. I'm going to deploy the dragon again. Um, oh, 46 gold gone. Well, never mind. You lose, you win some, you lose some. We could ransom some people out, but I'm not sure if they're contributing to war score, so I don't particularly want to do that. A son, a grandson, called Sidu Spoff. What about um, Sidudu Spoff? Much better name. Right, okay. Uh, that's going to take fucking ages if we don't deploy the dragon. We can't deploy the dragon, though. Why? My first chancellor was killed, horribly, by probably the siege, I, I imagine. Suspicious circumstance, he was assassinated. A little bit annoying, because he was the guy we actually employed for the council. Leader of Julo Ju's host. He's that weird guy that for some reason we were told about in Yi-T that was then made... So what is... Wait, that's that's stewardship, isn't it? That was then made, for some reason, our vassal? I don't know why that is. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and oversee the round for me. Where's my dragon, though? Is it is it because it's wounded? It's going to turn on speed 3. Maybe? I'm not sure. Wounded. I thought you could still send them out into siege if they were wounded. Oh, yeah, you can. We're just not enough time to... Boom! Please don't maim. We're good. 96%. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please just surrender. Please, my capital. Oh, God. Um, fine. Take two. Burn it all. Yes, we're good. Assault it down. Boom. 100% war score. You are gone. Right, let's go and stop Stigai before they siege my capital and steal my children. Although that might not be a bad thing, given that apparently I'm calling my children squint-eyed weirdos anyway. Right, we could land. Oh, God, here we go. Your court priest. 
Uh, Slilneth hesitantly leads you to his chamber. This is highly unorthodox, my master, but I assure you, all our research points to the lady you're about to meet. Okay, let's hear this woman out. A cutie named Halor. Now, there are ways to tell whether or not she is a fake or real mystic. Generally, her stats and her traits will do that for us. Um, deploy the dragon, burn them all, and we have won that one easily. Oh, God, Halor the Gentle is a tiny... Tiny child? A nine-year-old Carthian boy, a warlock of Carth, a mystic, conscientious, fussy, and quick. Um, we're going to educate you and thrift, young young man. Um, you can teach me. I'll teach you Pokemon. <laughs> um, why can't we train him? Am I, I've, already got, I've already got two wards. Hunhouse Boff He's the designated heir of blank. That's a bit worrying. Um, Hunt, Hunhouse Boff. Uh, someone else can educate you. I don't give a shit. Uh, here, let's, let's give you two a vassal so they like me a bit more. Here, go, go and educate Hunhel. I'll educate this boy. Just like the song suggests. Where am I? Here we are. Boom. And that's going to make him like us a bit more, which might increase the chance for succeeding. I'm not entirely sure, but it's worth a go. When you heard about the alleged mystic, you pictured someone very youthful. You did not, however, picture a child. At first, you're inclined to laugh. Who is this bizarre little g little girl? Your ward. Caught in a shy. Wait. Is that actually a little girl, though? I'm going to try and marry her off to my son. No, that is definitely a boy, because you can only... Wait, no, that's a... Wait, that's Guardian. Right, okay, that explains a lot. Um, arrange betrothal. No, that's definitely a man. That is de we could marry her off to, like, my daughter or something. That's fine. Um, level males must marry matrilineally. Boom, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> who is this bizarre little girl? However, you can tell within minutes that Halor is no ordinary child um, or girl. It is, in fact, a boy. His somber manners are actually rather unsettling. Um, I think this mystic could be fake based on the fact that they have very shitty stats. So I don't think we're going to get immortality short of going through the Alchemist Guild, but we'll give it a go anyway. Eternal life must be mine. Um, we lose 100 piety. We're consorting with infidels. Uh, Temple Vassal Pity minus 24. We're making more people hate me. Well, that's incredible. That's just what I wanted to hear. Thank you. You are dead. Get out of here, Stigai, you big shits. Even though it's supposed to be mine once again. I'm not, I'm not too happy about constantly losing Stigai. I need to find a way to get basically get rid of all the Shadow Men. Um, if we get rid of the Shadow Men rulers, all we have to worry about is just revolt risk. Which is obviously something we can deal with quite easily. Um, Dadasig of Stigai tried to slay the dragon. Ha 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 ha. He failed and is now depressed. This guy was also severely burnt. Right, we've done it. A serious concern. Prince Lima joins you once after supper once evening. He initiates a conversation about the status of trade in the round, but you notice he seems distraught. My dearest father. You don't think that of me, you goddamn liar. My dearest father, I fear for your life. Um, is it you doing it? My ruthless, content son who hates me. Um, you're overreacting. Or we can hire some people to investigate him. I'm going to say he's overreacting. Because if we hire to investigate, we might find out he's a fraud. And I kind of still want to give it a go just in case. I mean, it is impossible if he is a fraud. But we can still um, we can still hope. We can still dream. God damn it. Right. Salt this one down. Stigai is mine. Um, the peasants are upset because my dragon ate their crops. And it's lost a trait wounded. Because it ate, wait, they ate their crops. Vegetarian dragon, naturally. Um, okay. Can I take Stigai off of you now? What do we need to revoke titles, I wonder? I need to look into this somewhat because it doesn't... I imagine we just need, like, uh, what have we got here? War declarations offering fealty, granting independence, seeking redress, can clan feud declarations, letters of insult, alliances, valerian steel, and wars. We've got imprisonment, justice, and ransoming. Uh, granting or revoking titles. Right, so we need titles in office. Everybody is against it because, obviously, we are massively hated here. Um, not much of a shocker, eh? Can we get retinues? No. I might install a mod that allows us to get retinues again. There is a really, really good one around somewhere that... that do they take... Oh, no, no, Saraburai. Okay, that's back to becoming ours now. I generally thought we'd lost a province there. Apparently, we inherited it directly. Okay, that's good. So, the only actual du jour parts of Ashai that we're missing right now are the two colonies, Ulos and the Saffron Isles. Um, are they worth colonizing? Do you think there might be some... So, there are, with, with certain provinces in Westeros especially, um, there are certain provinces whereby... Oh, the Sunset Empire have actually started out, eh? Uh, there are certain provinces that when you colonize them, you can get rare events associated with it. So it might be worth us um, maybe trying to colonize these just in case we get something out of it, you know? Um, I don't know how we become, how we unleash the old gods, though. Uh, is there an option? There is no option. Maybe we have to hold the Kingdom of Lang. Like, actually, oh, we do hold the Kingdom of Lang. The Empire of Lang, but even though it's the Kingdom of Lang. Maybe we have to hold the whole thing personally? Like, I think we actually have to hold the, the province of Langmar. So, again, I need to work out how to revoke titles properly in this mod. 
before we do that. I can create the titular kingdom of, of this one again. Fuck it, why not, eh? It's just, uh, it's just some free prestige at this point. So now we've got the Empire of Lane, the kingdom of that one, and the kingdom of Ashai. Excellent. Online and Sun doesn't matter too much. Watch Imprisonment, again, doesn't matter too much. Right, we're good then. Um, let's build up for a while. Let's build up. Let's build a power base. Let's go and grab ourselves some slaves so that we can increase our slave labor here and try and turn the shine into a fortified capital so we never have to worry against goddamn Shadowmen. We never have to worry about the Kingdom of Yi Ti, which is apparently reformed back into the Empire once again. What if you speculate they might have been in a mega war, which makes sense? So in the Game of Thrones mod, when an Empire level title goes to war with an internal rebellion or an external run, vassals break down into their kingdoms and then they can decide whether to back the king or go against the king. It offers you a lot more independence, a lot more autonomy. It also makes empires technically weaker because you don't directly control your vassal troops. They sort of um, come to war like tribal levies in that sense. Right, let's build up for a while anyway. Halor and you are walking side by side through the capital as she patiently explains the principles of reincarnation and immortality. Um, Topog, my friend, remember that karma is not only produced when you act. Everything you think, say, and cause is also karma. Whilst good deeds yield sweet fruits, Ponya, unkindness, brings forth spoiled fruits, Pop. Um, yeah, me too, pal. So, this is basically Kraya from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is what I'm hearing right now. Do we want to give this poor man some money? Do we want to give, uh, do we want to say I understand his suffering but he should have persevered? Do we want to say he only has himself to blame or do we kick him out? Well, now basically you've got to try and work out which the right answer is from the sort of subtle clues that they've given you in, uh, in this one. I'm pretty sure it's the second answer. Um, yeah, there you go. How long nods can tend to at your words? Most people understand the value of compassion and a good deed, but few understand the true meaning of honesty. Before we can grow, you must learn and accept our fallings. Thank you. I will treat everyone fairly. Gain the trait. Honorable. Oh, that's massive. Well, that's actually... Oh, I didn't realize we were sympathy for Carthine. Look at this. Honorable. General opinion plus 10. That's so, so good. Right, so that's going to make people not completely hate us so much. Um, a great start there. I've also flipped over to the rulership folks to try and mitigate some of uh, this mess here. Apparently, we also have dangerous factions. Oh, God. Okay. Um, let's take a look. What have we got? Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, God. My eyes. Ugh. Um... <laughs> Shadow Chancellor Dadasig of Ashai. Fine. Um, oh, shit. Look at how many men they've got. They're 215%. Oh, Christ. Lord Hussein for Leng. Uh, can I send you a gift and maybe convince you to not do that at all? Um, why do you not like me? Upset. Foreigner. Religious differences. Dishonorable kinslayer. All of these are understandable things, my friend, but I assure you... I am uh, the greatest ruler you're ever going to goddamn see, so so please don't. What about you? You could take a gift. No. 32. What can I do to make this dude like me a little bit more? Um, I could give him a dragon egg, but that sounds like a goddamn terrible idea. What what other artifacts? Oh, I could make some fake artifacts and give him those. I'm a genius. Uh, create fake valuables. What do we need? Oh, we need the trait. Oh, seriously? If we're honorable, we can't make fake artifacts. God damn it. Okay, time to, time to become dishonorable then. Good news. First thing, we lost 10 Dishonor, so now we are down to still minus 10 general opinions. So it's not that great, but it was thanks to our Chancellor there. Plus, we've also got Wisdom, who's willing to impart some knowledge onto us. Um, Wisdom Kian Shingi. Who? An Ungai? Oh, one of the... Okay, so the gods of the Ungai are basically the same as the old gods. Um, there's a theory that the Thousand Islands were worshippers of the old gods, and then they were they were smashed, basically. It, it blew up in a big Urza explosion, um, because they, they did something to piss off the old gods, I guess. But that's, that's that's the story of these boys. Let's go and depart and head over there. What have they got? Do they have anything special? Slavery culture? Um, no, they just worship dark gods, unsurprisingly. Fine, we'll head over there. Quest overseas, 75 gold, not ideal. Now, what I'm building up in the capital are some of the uh, buildings that are going to give us... Basically, military and taxes is what I'm aiming for right now. Peasant farms give tax income. They also give morale to our armies as well. So it's, don't forget to send the armies from Ashai. So these are, are all very good to begin with. Don't get me wrong. So it's going to boost the morale of our 7,500 men. But when we get to the really big upgrades, the really big military upgrades, giving us hundreds and hundreds of troops, this thing will really, really shine. It's cheap anyway. Like, it's generally just a very good building. It's pretty OP. Um, but then again, you know, all the AI have access to it. It's quite a high chance they build it. So it's not too terrible. One of the wealthy merchants of Ashai was very upset. And I had to promise I would look into the matter. His daughter had been raped by my son Limus. But oh god. Um Well that's horrible. Uh Lima will be fined for the crime. Wow. Uh Lima will be imprisoned. Some people are annoyed by me. Oh, my family members are annoyed by it, but I gain fifty prestige and fifty piety. Plus it would give us a reason, an excuse, to get rid of Lima. Quietly? Can we quietly get rid of him? Prisoner, Limus, Limus Boff. What if we kill him? What if we castrate him? What if we disinherit him? 
Fuck it, disinherit him. Yes, good. No error. Sorry, what? Title loss? What do you mean? Yeah, no, I don't want my daughter to inherit. What about my other son? Is it because he's not of age? Maybe we have to wait till he's of age. Okay, that's a bit worrying that now we're getting title loss on succession. Um, why? It's primogeniture, so our son should still inherit. Why is she inheriting before my son? Oh my god, is it agnatic cognatic? Oh, it's cognatic. Well, that's not right at all. Oh shit, so she's my firstborn granddaughter of my firstborn, of, of Limmer Spoff. Um, the, technically the firstborn son, because the, the son before him was disinherited. Oh shit, okay. Um, well, you're only two years old, so you could potentially end up quite well. We should probably educate you in that case. The issue is some of the titles aren't agnatic cognatic, so we will lose some of them. Man, that's a bit shit. Okay, um, let, let's get you educated as soon as possible in that case. Let's, let's find you a good guardian. Um, so by stewardship, I guess? This person's pretty good. We're looking for someone who's, oh, this, this guy's good. Um... Patient, temperate, I mean, rude and cruel of crap, but you're also a scholar and quick, which would give them bonuses to their education. Um, yeah, I, I think you're winning right now, Namu. Oh, that's my wife. I remember you. Um, yeah, you, welcome to court. Now, let's try and... Shit. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, I meant to sell them off. We could, alternatively, change... Wait, what are we going to lose, exactly? Lordship of Manticore Isles and the Empire of Lang. Shit, we're going to split the realm. Um, so, Lang is agnatic, cognatic... But men are obviously preferred to inherit. We could try and make it cognatic here. Uh, but what do we need for that? So vassals are fighting each other. Or Oh, God. No count or higher tier vassals have a negative opinion of it. That's never going to happen. We could just destroy them. I might I might genuinely just destroy them so we don't split the empire in half. Fuck it. Uh, I won't do it yet. But if we're looking ill... Oh, man. We're already wounded and we're 50. Let's wait and see. We might become immortal. So it might never be a problem, eh? Uh, right. So a shy gets a peasant farm. Um, yeah, you, you get nothing, because I really can't afford it right now. Trying to build us up into a powerhouse, we don't have to worry about this crap happening. Stop with this. After many days at sea on your ship, you finally arrived at the ruins of North Point. So this is to go and see the Mystic, and we might get something good out of this as well. Here we go, North Point. You run across an old man with a tall and pointed head. After a bribe, he allows you to ride with him. It's the Jogos Nye. I assume we've taken our... We do have that Zor still, don't we? I assume we've gone for a ride on our Zor with our good friends. How marvellous. Chancellor Luina of Saffron Harbor has arranged to meet you in the hopes of sell- Oh, get out of here. I thought it was part of the event. Right, here we go. After spending some time settling down in the city, you are ready to begin learning from Wisdom Kian Chingi. You're invited to his quarters, where you can begin your lessons, teach me all you know. 23% uh, chance lessons are a great success. 53% chance they go well. 19% chance they're difficult, but some things are learned. So there's only a 5% chance of really fucking this up. We're going to get something out of it anyway. Let's do it. Oh man, I think we got the best outcome from that. You spent time learning from Wisdom Kian Chingi was very useful. You spent many days and hours discussing the deeper secrets of the alchemists and practicing the proper methods, methods for manipulating the substance. Oh, that's cool. This is most enlightening. Game 3 learning. That's great. That's actually really, really good. Um, thank you. Gain 200 esoteric knowledge. Uh, if we weren't honorable, we'd be able to convert that straight into gold. But unfortunately, we are too much of a nice boy these days. I've I mean, oh, god damn it. Sure, whatever. They know what they're doing. So basically, the council are firing one another while we're away because it's a regency. And people, because they approve of these people being on the council, are being pissed off at me, even though I have nothing to do with it. Ah, oh, the council are basically screwing everything up. Alright. Mind over body. Oh god, why do I have a bad feeling about this one? Halora has been very happy with your progress and informed you that the time has come for a period of deep introspection. You must venture into the wilderness all on your own, my friend, with nothing but the clothes on your back. You are to stay there until you've had a deep epiphany. Um, you spent four days in isolation, fasting and meditating, your mind has feel clearer. However, you're not sure you're approaching your epiphany, or if the lack of sub su sustenance Oh, I thought it was substance again, I thought we were doing the alchemist thing. Um, eat something before resuming your meditation. If I quit now, no matter the cost, um, I will not quit now, no matter the cost, or nothing will give me this, I give up. I'm going to assume it's one of these two. Oh, this is pointless if I starve to death? Yeah, of course it is. I want to become a mortal, not starve to death. Oh, shit, that was actually it. I genuinely thought that was the... The wrong answer then. I thought they expected to go for the second one. Moment of clarity. Finally it arrives. The perf moment of perfect clarity. All your senses are on edge. Each expression is distinguished and detailed. As if you experience everything for the first time. You sit there for a while. Taking in everything. Paralyzed with amazement. We've, we've opened our chakras. I must tell Halor. I, th I think I've been calling it Hafthor or something like that. My lady. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> I don't know who the hell she was. We should probably ransom off some of these prisoners. Eh? Lemuspoff we could banish from the realm. Now that he's disinherited. Yeah you know what. Get out of here. We could Call him for trial. Execute him. Um, Tones tyranny by five, but fear by five. Call him for trial. And then if we're going to fuck it up. So here's how you do it. Call him for trial. Depending on his diplomacy, he will... He called a trial by combat. Did he now? And we have 25 personal combat. 
He will remain in the dungeon. He's summoning his champion. If his champion doesn't turn up, we can fight. Or we can, well, not only can we fight the trial ourselves, but we can uh, then try another trial on him afterwards. We don't have to, you know, just because the trial by combat is going through doesn't mean it's guaranteed to end that way. Um, you obligate the vassal. My god, are we going to have to fight our son? If he doesn't get... A so he can also opt to fight his own trial as well. Although I imagine he has no personal... He's got 35 personal combat. I want to fight my son to the death. Please let this happen, game. Oh, good. Irara wants to fabricate... Oh, seriously? See the Shadow King top bog departed from this world. 107% plot power. They're going to say no, so I'm going to imprison you then. Um, auto stop plots. No, no, no. Fuck it. I'll just take out my wife. Uh, get out of here with this shit in prison. Excellent. Execute her. Uh, wait. Oh, we're going to have to call off a trial first. Fuck it. We'll call off a trial. Why not? Um... My son, Wang, Wang, Wang Spot. Oh, he was the disinherited one. I don't give a shit about him. She's demanded a trial by the court. So, this is what I was going to say before. When they demand a trial by the court, it's done by their diplomacy stats. So, what you can do at this stage is chuck them in the oobly, yeah? Oh, my God. Have they stopped you being able to do that now? Uh, it's not immune to... Oh, they've stopped it. You used to be able to throw them in the oobly, yeah? And it would lower their, di their diplomacy by another 10. So, they'd be really shitty. But they've already given a poor defense anyway. He made a poor case. She is guilty. Only the council can lawfully decide her punishment. Right. So now, whatever we, we can do anything, but they have to agree with it. Everybody does agree with it. Change fear by five. Torturer. Uh, the council don't approve of that, apparently. Humiliator. They do approve of that, though. Um, no, you know what's going to happen? Execute her. Your grace, Queen Namu has been brought from her cell for execution. How should she be dispatched? Beheaded. Hanged. Feed her to my dragon. Change fear by another five points. Goodbye, wife. You have decreed that Namu shall be executed for her crimes and she shall make a meal for your dragon. Tiverion duly roasts the victim with dragon flames and then devours her charred corpse. Boom. Sorry, I just wanted to let that sink in a little bit. Was fed to Shadow King Top Bog of a Shy's dragon. Look at this man now. Um, how? Wait, wh why are we not feared? Oh, because we've got honorable. Shit. Uh, she does not deserve to be honored by the funeral. And let that be a message to anybody who would dare assassinate. I'm going to have to auto stop plots because I'm going to eventually get killed, aren't I, if I'm not careful. There we go. All right, that's much, much better. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Right, we'll have to leave that there because we have massively overrun this episode. Thank you all for watching. We've achieved, once again, a decent amount today. Almost immortal. We've learned from a wisdom. We've, we've, oh, Jesus Christ. We've gone up through the tree. We're almost a grandmaster. This is looking really, really good. And a big shout out to all of my insane top tier level patrons making this series possible. Big to Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Sidini, Paul, Necrofilin, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Powers Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escapes, Zazzy 711, and Jackson Women. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the series going. Hope you guys are appreciating it. Next episode, I guess immortality is on the books. But before then, uh, I also need to give a shout out as well to, uh, how could I forget, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brennan Antoniak, Euphrates, Quetzal Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Ders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Johan DeVries, Don Connie 2 and 7, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asero, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Igor Kozak, Haji Dumar, and Noah Gallimore for their support on Patreon as well. Remember when I used to do all of that in one breath? My god, I think I'd die these days. <laughs>